Hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I want to talk to you about iTunes of the issues I'm having with the software on a Windows 7 laptop computer. Now, this is a known laptop. This is the actual one I have here. This is a HP G71 computer. I just freshly installed Windows on this machine and freshly put iTunes on this machine as well. And it actually works perfectly fine. But the one thing I ain't been having a lot of issues with is actual my main laptop computer here. This is my HP Pavilion G6 laptop computer. This is also by HP itself. And you can see I do like HP's but the only problem is is they like to try to do own things. You have to be compatible with certain types of software and certain types of things. Now how did I get iTunes on this computer? Well first of all you need the internet. And second of all, you need to go to apple.com and download iTunes directly from now. And this computer is very slow as well. Uh, this is an older laptop. It's not the world's fastest machine. And it has Windows 7 64-bit operating system, just like uh, this one as well. But the issue I went into with iTunes is sometimes the iTunes program and software doesn't want to work on my computer. I don't know why. I think it's something that's going on with the software or is it something going on with the actual computer itself. Now, when you have an iPod, iPhone, or iPad, it's the iPod Touch 3rd generation, what, what's going to happen is you plug this into a fresh install of iTunes, you're going to lose everything off of this device, like your apps, your music, your videos, your games, your pictures, uh, whatever you have on this will no longer work on the fresh install of iTunes because I actually have two iPod touches because I use two different ones. I have the fifth generation and I have the third one. These are very good to have. These are very uh, good to listen to music and also do a lot of things. Now this is my secondary one. This is my main one. This is the one I use mostly all the time because of a couple of issues with this one. But this is a good iPod touch as well. But let's go ahead and uh, wake this up and show you what I mean, what's going on. Let's just hit anything to turn on or wake up, I guess. But with the music collection I have, this whole drive and this computer ain't big enough for the music I have. And I listen to a lot of my music. Definitely when I'm at work or if I'm here I'm at home or even if I'm outside or going places. I just like listening to my tunes. Now this is iTunes. This is what you're going to get. Now if you're wondering what I'm actually wanting, I'm going to minimize this. There was the Windows logo right there. This is a Windows machine. Now what type of computer you prefer to use, Mac or Windows? That's up to you. You figure the information out yourself. What happens when we connect this to this secondary computer? Well, it's going to waste everything. It's going to take everything out. Because that's typically what it does. But first of all, you're going to need one idol. Your USB data transfer cable. Plug this into the iPod. Plug this into your USB 2.0 port of your laptop computer. And it should recognize it perfectly fine like it normally does. You can see it's actual recognizing and it's going to sync. It's nothing on this. 
and it's nothing on this machine at all because it has no way to put anything on it. Why do you need iTunes? Again, you need iTunes to put music, photos, uh, songs, videos, apps, and everything else on this iPod Touch. Now, if I go here to the unit over here, it picks up everything I actually have listed of what I want to do. I can uh, back it up on the computer or back it up on the iCloud. But again, that's more storage. Now, the one thing you see right here, this is a hard drive, a Seagate 500 gigabyte hard drive. This I might going to be used to put all my music on for this device instead of on the computer. But the one problem with doing that is you're going to constantly use this instead of storing these songs and videos and pictures and stuff on here because it's only a three, uh, 20 gigabyte hard drive. That's all the big what's in this uh, machine. Now, what I've been having a lot of issues with is not this computer, this computer. My HP Pavilion G6 laptop computer, this is my main system I use every single day for iTunes, for editing my videos, and editing my blogs on this machine. This has a big enough hard drive, it's a mechanical drive with 500 gigabytes of storage. Well, first is this one, this one's completely different. But iTunes does not work on this computer at all. I just do not know why it doesn't. I don't understand what the actual issue is. But yes, I installed iTunes directly on this one. Just to do a experiment and see what actually happens when you do all sorts of different iTunes. Now, the best way to keep your iTunes from crashing or from doing updates, just ignore the updates. Do not do them. If you want to update it, that's completely fine. That would be worth it. And secondly, I am not going to be plugging this iPod into this computer because I'm going to have these two iPods completely separated off of iTunes completely. But when you have iCloud backup, it's very easy to back up everything from the cloud, dump it back on your iPod. But that takes up a lot of data and that takes up a lot of Wi-Fi and a lot of time to actually do it through the wireless. That's why you use your cord to transfer all your files from your main iTunes directly to your iPod Touch. Alright, now if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. I want to know your opinions of what computer I should get, a Mac or a PC. I want to know if you have the exact same issue with iTunes on a PC instead of a Mac. Please like, please share, peace out, bye girls and guys, or we'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. Try to help is the best I can with you guys and girls. Thank you a whole lot.